Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. I was praying for you and I felt uh, the Holy Spirit wanted me to share this word with you. It is a revelation that will change your life as it did with me. And also I will pray over you uh, after sharing this uh, powerful revelation with you. So I was reading uh, uh, Psalm 42 and uh, the way I came to read Psalm 42 is I, I I I went through something today and uh, it was it was bad and um, I didn't know why I did the, this decision and it was not a righteous decision and uh, um, I I felt the Holy Spirit wanted me to read Psalm 42 after going through what I went through today and uh, and I got the revelation that. I was going through some spiritual sadness in in some places in my in my heart uh, and uh, not just sadness sometimes when it is long it is a spiritual depression and it hides it hides itself and uh, then it leads you uh, to do erroneous things uh, things that are not righteous because you need to expose that by the Holy Spirit and you need to deal with the roots of things. And so I read uh, Psalm 42 and uh, uh, it's a beautiful Psalm, it's very famous, uh, but one of the things that caught my attention, the enemies of the Psalmist, I believe it was David, they were telling him all day long, where is your God? Like why he is not saving you? why he is not coming for you, why he is not answering your prayers. You are going to the temple, you're praying, you are with, uh, with co in covenant with him and all that. Uh, and uh, they were telling him, where is your God? And in, in this Psalm 42, uh, they kept saying, like it is repeated, where is your God? Where is your God? It's like an ongoing sticky accusation that led him to be depressed because at the end of the psalm, uh, David said uh, he was talking to his soul uh, uh, and he was uh, asking it this question, uh, why are you sad and depressed within yourself, O my soul? H have hope in God or hope in God because he is your savior, he is your help, he will, he will uh, ever be right and so it got him you know because uh first of all the accusations can oppress us without knowing like people around us or circumstances that we are praying for to change and shift and and all those circumstances and people especially unbelievers um, with the devil and his demons, all that coming against you and me and telling us, where is your God? Where is your, where is your God? Where is, where is your living Jesus? Where is the God of covenant that you are, uh, expecting uh, high things from him? Uh, and so this is the first oppression, but then you have your own oppression because really you, you, you know the word of God, you know that God is alive, he loves you, his, his promises are, uh, you know, yes and amen for you, he is faithful, yet in some areas you, you feel like God is pushing himself away or delaying himself. And, uh, y y you know, I heard once, uh, someone saying that, um, a life of um, no manifestations uh, leads to frustration. No manifestation uh, brings or breeds frustration. And, uh, and I was thinking about that. It, it, it really frustrates us when we don't see the, our breakthrough, right? And um, uh, so this personal scenario like, I'm doing this, I'm praying, I'm believing, I'm decreeing, I'm fasting, I'm standing, uh, but where is my God, really? Now you are talking with yourself, not just the, the voices outside but or outdoor, <laughs> but the voice within you, your own soul. You know, it, tap in, it starts to tap into depression, sadness, because of uh, no manifestations, God is not 
answering, uh, he's not manifesting, and then you feel like, oh my God. And um, sometimes uh, you don't feel it, you don't uh, discover it. It hides itself because we don't want to, uh, you know, tell God we are sad because of you, you know. That's why it hides itself because we will not confess that you know god is bothering us <laughs> right or uh, so it hides itself it's self deception it's a suppre it's a suppressed voice within us so but anyway i was also thinking about this verse how true this verse is it says hope deferred makes the heart sick hope deferred makes the heart sick but it uh, but a uh, but a fulfilled desire is a tree of life and really when we don't see god showing up manifesting answering we tap into this depression which is against hope right hope deferred makes the heart sick and uh, and then uh, we feel like down uh, we are robbed our strength and all that and then we start uh, doing unrighteous things because we are sad we are depressed uh, we are questioning where is my god really where is the promise i have been praying about for for quite a while or for for year for one year or years and uh, and it accumulates you know within you it robs your refreshment your strength and then you feel burdened and oppressed and and then you start doing things uh, and uh, sometimes doing sins and why because you're loaded inside and uh, while I, while i was reading psalm 42 for myself today i got the revelation like wow uh, the reason I did this today is because I have this hidden spiritual depression or sadness within me because in some areas I'm really pleading with God, uh, praying, believing for a long time for things. Um, and, uh, and I was asking, where is my God in this area? Not, I'm, not that I am doubting God in general, not at all. I will not go there i have experienced the lord for years and i love him but you know in areas uh, where you've been really investing um, you know all the tools the spiritual tools and doing everything you know how to do biblically and then this voice keeps pounding on you where is your god where is your god then you tap into a sadness and depression and you lose hope and then you do bad things with others with yourself uh, and sometimes it kills your fire so uh, i got this revelation today that the reason i did what i did today is because um, i i am hiding in my heart in some areas uh, sadness and spiritual depression and um, and um before I pray for you, uh, you, you, you may be asking me the question I asked myself. And I was asking myself, so is it like that always when, when the Lord does not show up for me or answers, you know, my prayers that are according to His will? Um, is it always like that? Like I am, I, I, will I always tend to be sad and depressed like is it like doomed like that like uh, because re let's face it uh, uh, in the life of a believer uh, there are many waiting seasons and timings and we cannot just tap into depression and sadness every time god you know doesn't come on time for us or show up and manifest his promises or give us the miracle or the blessing so as so i was thinking and asking this question like what how do i find my exit door uh, and um, protect my heart from the enemies of hope and um, what the, the way i encourage myself with is 
uh, God is faithful, He is good, and His timings are always the best, and I don't need to be sad or depressed. Uh, I just need to remind my soul of all the good things God has done for me in the past while waiting for, you know, promises to come. You know, Psalm 103, the psalmist said um, to his soul again, you know, he was reminding his soul, actually he was commanding his soul, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Right? So in the time of waiting, in the time of waiting of things to come, promised by the Lord for you, uh, remind yourself, and I will remind myself, like Tony, but Jesus came for you in this area. He touched you in this place. He changed you in that place. And on and on. And and you can um, re remind yourself of His goodness and how He came for you at the right time and how He transformed radically your life in many areas. So if He was good to that place in your heart and your life and, and the other, uh, of course He will visit those you know, other places you are believing for. So while you are waiting for God to show up, you will be, I promise you, you will be hearing accusations from the circumstances, the people, the unbelievers, um, the enemy, the devil. Where is your God? Where is your God? You will keep hearing this. And so don't come uh, into you know, alignment with those voices or you will open the portal of depression and sadness and then you will live a life of sins and, um, you know, collateral damages. <laughs> so uh, while you are going through a transition season, remind yourself about His goodness and how He came for you many times, not just once, many 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 times right and this way you protect your heart from uh, depression and sadness and you stay in hope because christ in you is the hope of glory and so right now let me pray for you because i really feel and what the reason i'm doing this life is because the thing i went through today i felt uh, some of you are going through it and and uh, you know the good thing is that when you go through something now you can benefit others because you have the revelation, uh, you repented, you have the authority now and you can minister to others. You know the, the, the enemy, the devil will be sorry he ever tried, always. So now I am, I am blessing you know, hundreds of you, <laughs> you know, so because he messed with me. So uh, I will be praying for you right now and uh, i know that some of you are hiding not intentionally but you are hiding in your heart spiritual depression and sadness because you are hearing this question where is your god uh, where is your god where is your god and uh, your soul is loaded with depression and you need to rise up with hope again you need to command your soul uh, why are you depressed you need to ask yourself why are you doing what you are doing? And you need to command your soul, hope again, hope in God. He is your savior, he is your help. And um, then things will be shifting. You will, you, your spirit and soul will feel lighter and refreshed and you will gain strength again and purity and you will continue uh, you know, in your faith journey until you see uh, the manifestations of God's love for you at the right time. So let me pray for you right now. Heavenly Father, I come against the hiding spiritual sadness and depression in the heart of my brother and sister right now. With the authority of your name, Yeshua, we break the sadness, we break the depression we break the oppression in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for setting your loved one free. 
set them free right now from this snare, from this bondage. Fill them with hope again. And I pray that you will fill us with the revelation of your goodness right now and in the time, in every time of transitioning. So when the enemy come at, comes at us with the question of where is your God, we will lock focus on you, Lord, and we will testify of your goodness, of what you had done for us, what you have done for us before. And that will be our testimony in those hard times. In Jesus' mighty name, while we are waiting for the next thing to come. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for hearing this prayer and touching everyone today and your church in Jesus mighty name Amen thank you Lord for your blood your protection thank you Lord that your banner over us is love in Jesus mighty name Amen Amen so receive that touch from the Holy Spirit Dust away and shake it off this long spiritual depression and sadness you've been carrying in your heart because you've been waiting for a long time and God is renewing your strength right now so you can keep transitioning and keep praying and standing and believing because God is not a liar. And his promises to you are yes and amen. And he will come for you as he did the last time. So thank you for listening. It was a privilege to uh, go online and bless you and minister to you and release the word of the Lord for you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Feel free to visit my website to connect with me more at www.healednations.com.